guys I wanted to come to you today with my wax empties for the month of March um I have candles here um there's five that I melted one that I burned and I have some wax here so I will go through the ones that I uh, melted just because um yeah these were there's a, one that I melted for a different reason. I burned part of it, and then it went to the melter. But these other ones, I've been cleaning out this room that's on the other side of this wall. And I had a lot of my other candles in there that are Yankee candles, Colonial candles. I have an Ashland candle here. I had some Acquiesce ones, some Root candles. Just anything that's not like Bath & Body, right, that's here, or that's in my hutch, or that closet, or under that thing. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. Yeah, I'm crazy. So, um, but these, I put them in my crock just because I didn't think they were going to throw. That yeah, was right. Yeah. So, um, I had them, uh, melt all the way through. They weren't throwing anything. I just pulled them out and went on with my life. I was like, I don't even care at this point. So this one is from Ashland and it is Sweet Pea and Peony. Very pretty label. Um, you can tell I melted it since there's a crater in there and yeah, doesn't look like there's a wick. I pulled the wick out of it, but there was absolutely no scent and there's still no scent now. So that was the one of them I went through. I went through a Colonial Candle Lemon Sage. I got this at Marshall's. Had a little scent in it, but not that much and I had it on for a night and maybe part of the next day. And I can still smell it in here, but it wasn't, it wasn't doing anything. It wasn't putting out any scent. So I was like, I'm not going to waste electricity for that. So, um, this one is Colonial Candle Green Tea and Bergamot. And I got this one, um, when I got into Bath and Body Works, I love the London Tea, I think it is. Um, is there one of them back here? London iced tea and lemon there it went so it was out and then it disappeared for a while so I found these at Marshall's and they smelled just like them yeah I can ugh, that kind of doesn't have a good smell but um they smelled like it at first so I was able to burn several of these and I had just one more of these and so I was like, let me just throw it in there and see what happens. And nothing really happened. I can smell it in here. There was no throw. So um, that's gone. Then um, at the beginning in January, I burned through this. Um, I just did an update on my um, finish 12 by 20 by the end of 20 during the 10, 2020 um, candles and I had a Yankee Candle garden party I burned all the way through it and no scent so the garden parties this bunny cake peeps and jelly bean they are all um, being sent to the Goodwill there's no scent in them um, this had absolutely no scent this bunny cake so um, I'm sending them to the Goodwill in case somebody wants some ambiance or something. I have way too much can many candles in my house to um, just burn them for ambiance's sake. Because I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven. I think there's, yes, yeah, seven there. And I've got seven that I've been through. So, and then there's a ton that's still in there. So, I, I have candles. There's two right, three right over here. So, I'm like, just let them go. Just get rid of them, make some space, and move on. And, um, yes, I've washed my hands. Trust me, I did a video on that one. I don't know if I'll show that one. If it makes sense, I will. If not, um, just to let you know, I do have a very bad case of germ OCD. And, as you can imagine, with what's going on in our world right now, that's not playing well. I am medicated to the hilt and uh, it's still been getting through. So, um, I went to go get some toilet paper today. I don't need any, but I wanted another pack. Um, and 
I don't need any right now, but I will need some. So I'm like, you know what? I got there. I parked. I could see it at the back of the store. And um, I couldn't get out of my car because I was paralyzed um, with fear. Because I was like, okay, you're going to have to touch the knob. You're going to have to touch that. You have to touch the... It's a big crap show with me. So um, everything would be contaminated. I would be contaminated. And so I was like, you know what? Just go home. You've got toilet paper. Use the freaking Kleenex in the house until we get to another place where you can stay calm. So if you're having that problem, welcome to the club. Um, so back to the candles. I did pull out for March. This wasn't in my 20 my 12 by 2020, but um, I pulled it out for St. Patrick's Day. I had this in my um, shelf in there, and I decided, I'm like, why why hold on to it? Just melt the thing, or burn the thing. Um, it is a 2015. This was absolutely freaking amazing. This threw in the living room, it threw in my bedroom, I think that's my my um, lungs are a little aggravated right now because I live in Oklahoma and um, my car which is black is trying to turn green and even better I had to go get groceries today and the wind is blowing so I'm like yeah it's gonna be a fun day for you I already take two allergy medicines and the doctor says if that doesn't end up working then you'll have to get allergy tested I'm like live with it so um but this is amazing smelling it's just got that green grass um type of scent absolutely love this this was amazing and i they have it out for bring back my candle or so, i don't know something like that something like what since he has and they had storm watch in it and something else and this one was in it and i really want this again because this is amazing hopefully it will smell as well as this one from 2015 I don't know, but it was amazing. Then I found this one in my um, closet in there, and it did not have a lid at the time, but somewhere I came up with a freaking lid. <sighs> Lord only knows where it came from, but I'm not even going to question it. Um, it's the Yankee Candle Vineyard, and it was about to hear and it was it had tunneled, and I thought, well, that must be back from when you didn't know what to do with the Yankee Candle, how to handle one. Well, um, it wasn't because I trimmed all the excess out of here that I could. It was up to about there. I trimmed that out. I was burning it so it was soft for me to cut out of there. And I threw that in my melter and I was able to use that twice in my melter. And I started burning this again and it started tunneling again. And I was like, all right, I've had it with you. So I put it in my crock and um, my candle crock and I got the rest of it out, um, got the wick out and everything and um, took care of that. Do not ever light a candle that has been in a crock um, because it can, I don't know if the glass can is compromised, but I do know that the wick will no longer be glued to the bottom correctly and if it shifts over to one side of your candle close to the glass it can blow your glass out so um yeah not enjoying that so um i there was one i had that was getting a little too close to um the side and i was able to straighten it up but where was that yeah, it's this angel wings that I had back in uh, January. I burned it as much as I could, but can you see where it's starting to travel there? And I'm like, uh-uh, you're not going to blow that out. So uh, I just got rid of the candle. It was almost done anyways. You can see that I was to the end of it, but I was not going to take a chance that it was going to blow the, the side of the jar out. So done with that. I went through a Yankee Candle Mary Berry Linzer. Um, I found this in my stash and I was afraid that it was going to turn out like my candle from February that was the Berry Trifle. It smelled amazing in here. I burned it. Zero scent. Zero. No matter, I could have put this in the bathroom in a box. A, you know, a little 
two by two box and it still would not have scented the thing up. It was that bad. So, <coughs> um, I put this in there. This was amazing. On these scent cups, I cut them in four pieces and um, just drop them in there. And this one smelled oh, amazing. I don't know what the candle would have been like, but the scent cup was amazing. So if it ever comes back out, I don't know. I've just gotten back into Yankee Candle a little bit. So if it comes back out, I would definitely get that one again. Um, would not even think twice about that one. I went through one of the sensationals. This is Us, The Spice of Life. I absolutely love this one. It's kind of a kind of a wine scent. Um, so I really like this. I think there's a little cinnamon in it, but um, I really like this one and I definitely would get this one again. I went through a Sensationals Vanilla Bean. This is nothing more than a mixing wax for me um, because it doesn't have any throw as a vanilla. It's not very strong so I just use it as a to calm stuff down and there was some stuff I had to calm down this uh, month. What is the name of that one? Wild Lavender Lemon. Linen, not lemon. Wild Lavender Linen. That stuff will throw you in the backyard. I made the mistake of throwing two cubes in at once the first time. Yeah, big mistake. Don't do that if you have a thousand foot square house. If you have a 10,000 square foot house, knock yourself out. With high ceilings and that, you'll probably be able to breathe, but that, mm -mm, I had to get rid of it. So, um, maybe one cube and maybe half of one would be better if it's in a thousand square foot house because I did put one cube in and it was still too much. So, just to let you know. Um, a lot of people, not a lot, but some people that I've talked to have been very disappointed in the Walmart wax this season. And I have to say that I am very much in agreement. I am very underwhelmed by a lot of it. My, um, my thinking on it is there is a lot of it that smells like freaking berries to me. And I don't know how this is happening. Um, this one is the Sensationals Festive Vibe Sunset Berry Bliss. I know why this smells like berries. Um, it's a very good berry smell. But it, it's berries. So, um, that one I would get again. I like it. But there are so many that smell like berries. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because this one is the Ice Cream Shop Just One Scoop. If you're thinking that this is going to smell like ice cream, no. It is more of a, it's very, it's a very berry scent. And I don't know if it's more, I'm leaning towards more of a um, gelato, a berry gelato. Like something like what would be this, but it would be a gelato. Um... Maybe a sherbet, but it is a berry scent. And I put every time I put it in there, I was like, why am I getting berries and no ice cream? So here's another one that's coming through as berries to me. Then I went through pink poppies. This one does not have this one is very um much a non-thrower. It is very light. I put two cubes in at first. I put two, and then I on another time, I put two cubes in. Still couldn't smell it. I went in there and threw the other last two in. Still couldn't hardly smell it. And I was done with it. It smells very pretty in the um, clamshell, if I don't throw it across the room. But it is a, um, this and Mystic almost smell a lot alike to me. And this and Mystic are um, lighter scents. Um, this one, I don't smell it. It's very, um, very faint. The Mystic is not the strongest one, but I can smell it more than this one. So, um, yeah, but I get a berry scent out of this again. I can get some, like, a perfume note, but it, there's berries in it, and it's driving me nuts. So I went through that and um, I wouldn't get it again because it doesn't have a strong throw to it. 
Um, this one is Blue Sky. This one is not as bad as the uh, Wild Lavender Linen, but this one is a very strong one as well. And I know some people, they're not very strong for them, and I don't know um, what it is. And I'm not saying that they're lying or they don't know what they're doing, because I know that whatever house you're in, um, whatever setup, you know, everybody has a different experience with wax. Because there's a lot of time people say, oh, I get the best throw, and I'm like, how? So I, I totally understand that. This one about blew me. It's not as bad as the other one, but this one about blew me out of the house too. Not quite as bad as the wild lemon, lemon, lavender linen. It's laying on the floor. That's why I keep looking at it. And I'm orange again. That's nice. All right, come on. But it is a, it has a, a see, I get a cedar wood smell out of it. That's what I get is cedar. It's mostly a cedar, and it's a very um, perfumey uh, floral is what I get out of it as well. But right here in this package, I'm smelling cedar out of it. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't get that one again. I went through a Yankee Candle uh, layer chocolate layer cake tart that I found in there while I was cleaning that room out. And um, I went through a Yankee Candle Pink Penny. And I found that one, and I like that one. And then the last one that I went through the other day was Lavender Cookie from Destination Wax. This is quite two or three years old. I'm not sure when I got this thing. And um, I smelled more lavender out of it than I did cookie. But, um, yeah, loved it and would definitely get that one again. So my thing's about to go off. That's all I went through. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.